A new year is going to start, and 2023 is about to end. You have probably manifested a lot of things this year, and I want to congratulate you on this. As the new year approaches, I want you to make a fresh start and set some goals for this year. Make a list of the things you desire and want to experience this year. It can be anything, a big new house, a new car, a high income, fitness goals, vacations at exotic places, a life partner. Whatever it is, just spend some time writing it on a piece of paper and don't share it with anyone. I repeat, don't share this list with anyone. I have seen that when we share our goals with others, we tend to become lazy or fail to achieve them, as in the back of our minds we always think about what other people are going to think about our desires. We create unnecessary blocks. Sometimes some people give us negative feedback, and we limit ourselves to something smaller. So, always be mindful of what you share with others. Also, manifesting our desires is a personal thing. It is a personal experience. Others won't matter. Your desires don't matter to them. It is a personal thing. Now that you have created a list of desires, you have completed the first part of the manifestation process. The second step is to get specific about your desire. Is it a car that you want to manifest? Just to be specific, what type of car is it? Is it a pre-owned vehicle or a new vehicle? What is the color of this car? What is the company behind this car? How does the interior of this car feel? What are the special features of this car? Just sit with yourself and think about such things. This is a very important thing that you have to do in order to manifest your desire quickly, because I believe that when we get specific about something, we make a decision to get that thing. As Ralph Waldo Emerson said, once you make a decision, the universe conspires to make it happen. So, you are just a decision away from manifesting your desire. Even if it is a vacation that you want to manifest on some exotic island, just be clear about where it is. Is it a beach? What is the name of the beach? How does it look? How do the locals look? What are you wearing? How is the temperature there? How is the food there? Asking such questions clears up your mind and makes your path clear. Once you have thought about such things, you have done the majority of the work. Now you can use a technique. Some people use affirmations, while others use SATs. For those of you who are watching Neville for the first time, SATs are state akin to sleep. It is a technique that was introduced by Neville Goddard. It is a state where one is totally relaxed, like laying on the bed and falling asleep, but he is still awake and aware of his thoughts. Sats are not hard. They just need some time. The majority of people have a habit of using their smartphones on their beds. They continuously scroll, and due to this, their minds are never relaxed and constantly engaged in one thing or another. This makes it hard for them to get to sats. So, in order to perform sats, one must lay on the bed or relax in a comfortable chair. They should surrender their bodies to the bed or chair and move their attention towards their breath. They should notice their breath going out and coming in. Once they do it for some time, their body gets relaxed, and they land up in a state where they can fall asleep. But you don't have to fall asleep, now you have to perform an imaginary scene. This one thing, if done correctly, will manifest anything you desire. When you are in such a state, the work you did in the first part will now help you. You have to perform an imaginary scene. This scene must be an act that would take place once you have manifested your desire. Let's say you want to go to an island for a vacation. Let's say it is Bali that you want to cover on your bucket list. Just imagine a scene where you are walking on the beach of Bali. You are feeling sand beneath your feet, and you can see the locals and tourists clicking pictures there. It is hot. You are in your beach outfit, wearing sunglasses, and drinking something chilled, maybe a local drink. Just live this moment in your imagination. The specific things about your desire will help you to imagine it. Just play out this scene and enjoy it in your imagination while in sats. Then wake up from it and continue with your day, or just do it at night when you are falling asleep. This is one of the major steps that you have to perform in order to manifest your desire. You have to assume this feeling and stay with it. This feeling is not limited to the emotion of being happy or joyful, but is much more than that. It is a feeling of having that experience or thing and satisfying the inner hunger for that desire by feeding it with the imaginal scene. As Neville Goddard said, simply dare to assume you are what you want to be, and you will compel everyone to play their part. You don't have to be worried about how it will happen. You just have to close your eyes and imagine it. You have to feel it and experience it in your imagination. People will play their part. You don't even know how many people will be compelled to play their part in order to get your desire. You will experience in your physical reality the act you performed in your imagination. Just perform this imaginary scene every night when falling asleep. Do this for some nights and during the day. When a thought about this desire pops up in your life, just create an affirmation or a statement that means that you have already experienced your desire. For example, an affirmation for the trip to Bali would be, Thank God, it was such a wonderful experience in Bali. Or Bali was amazing, I would plan another trip there soon. Create whatever affirmation you like. 
but always remember that it must be from a place where the wish is fulfilled. It must be from a place of already having your desire, not from a place of getting your desire in the future, but from a place of already experiencing that desire. All you can possibly need or desire is already yours. Call your desires into being by imagining and feeling your wishes fulfilled. Whatever the mind of man can conceive and feel is true, the subconscious can and must objectify. Your feelings create the pattern from which your world is fashioned, and a change of feeling is a change of pattern. So, change the way you look at your desires. Don't become desperate. Just stay with the feeling, and you will grow from the feeling of wanting that desire to having that desire, and it will happen unexpectedly in your life. It was a goosebumps moment for me when it happened, and it would be a similar experience for you. So, I wish you to manifest all of your desires in the coming year and experience a great life. With this, I wish you a happy new year, and I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to watch more such videos. I would meet you with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting!